Fuck. Really? Are we really gonna act up today? Okay, there we go. Let me go ahead and end this. Oh, good, take it off there. Really quick. Give me a minute, people. Give me a minute. Okay, so as you can see, the Soldier Boy scam. And I'm gonna show you guys why Soldier Boy scamming and why the console he has is a knockoff and where he got it from and why Nintendo is suing. Because a lot of I see not just from the black community but from the white community, those that buying this that preview it are giving us bad reviews. And those that want to say, Oh, you're just hating, well, ask yourself something. Are you a gamer? Have you actually bought something that's a knockoff and I'm shedding light on why this is a scam from him and why he finessed his company and why Nintendo is suing him if you guys know the creator of Nintendo I, forget, I can't pronounce his name it is Chinese but he's just not the guy that created Nintendo he's the guy that created Super Mario I'm gonna show you guys uh, video it's five minutes five minutes and 50 seconds it's called top 10 Chinese game consoles you didn't know that existed this is a good example of why these are knockoffs that soldier boy is doing and where he got it from after the video I'm gonna break down a bit more and I'm going to pause here and there because we will discuss this so let's go ahead and play it Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. That's all the consoles there are, right? Well, in the West, I'm Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, 10 Chinese video game consoles you didn't know exist. Believe it or not, up until 2015, China... Okay, believe it or not, there's actually a PS4 knockoff. It's, um... And it's, a. Uh, it's not signed. It is pretty much on its own independent it's small you can fit it into the size of cargo pants pocket and it's a red and black and it fits about 300 games and it has some good fucking classic games on there part of my language but it does and I wouldn't mind getting it for myself which I'm looking into but let's go ahead and get on to the video I had banned video game consoles, so these all would have been contraband not long ago. Number 10 is the Oye, which modifies one letter from the short-lived Oya, or Ouya, and also decided to go ahead and rip off both the PS4 and the Xbox One. I mean, it literally just has an Xbox One controller and has the body of a PS4 with that Xbox One venti thing that they stopped. Now, there's a knockoff. It's not this. But it's the U.S. version that a lot of people don't know about. So pay attention to that. Because Soldier Boy's talking about the next console, right? I guarantee you he's going to get himself into more shit than he is now. He's going to rip off, again, not from the Chinese, not from the U.S. citizens. But he's going to take this that already exists. The console itself is kind of a piece of garbage, just an Android thing. I mean, nothing against Android consoles because they do serve a purpose and they can be a lot of fun, but when you're basically trying to act as though you have something that is like the Xbox One and the PS4 and it turns out to be an Android console, somebody's going to be like, yeah, no. Number nine is the Phone Me P3. As you can see from the controller let's, here, it is literally a direct... Let's go over right here. Another PlayStation called the Skin. Oh, let's go back a bit. Pretty fantastic one that pretty much did the exact same thing was the game... Okay, I want to get into where... Game boom. Thing. Right here. Now, we all know about the Soldier Boy handheld. Where do you think he got it from? He got it from this. Right here. This already has exist the same thing as the PSP right well rather than paying the US version you want to pay the knockoff version and that's what he did he paid for the knockoff version teamed up with the people that do pretty much own this knockoff version once it you know went out right good majority of it's probably not going well a lot of that stuff comes from across seas, from low-end pay and bad quality of 
in the work environment where these things are manufactured at. It's not really Soldier Boy's console. He didn't make it. What he did, he did research, right? We all know he did research. He called up the company and said, hey, I want to market this with you guys. So let me just put my brand on there, which is my name. Have me promote it for you guys. And not only will you guys make some money, but I'll make some money too, just for my name being on there by me promoting this, right? Now, a good majority of these companies actually do probably still exist, mostly, if not all the way. Now, there are legal issues that come along with that that you don't hear about. So, I guarantee you, the handheld console that you guys see right here, Sony is looking at Soldier Boy like, okay, not only are we going to sue you, but we're going to get you just like we got these people as well when they first wanted to do this. And they had to do the things, the right things, they had to make the certain payments, get certain paperwork, license, just for have this knockoff across seas because you just ain't going to get away with it, even though it was manufactured over across seas. Doesn't have a color right? display, though it advertises itself as having a what is What is another thing we can go to? Boom. Hold up. Good Hold up. Gaming consoles, actually. This one happens to run on a Hold up. Let me find it. That right there, it's called the box. It's the knockoff version of the Xbox, right? Where have we seen this design before? Where have we seen this design before? Almost the same length, right? Which is the Soldier Boy console. Right? Well, check this out. Uh, that game that Soldier Boy came out with is based off what? Nintendo and some Sega Genesis, right? What came out that had Nintendo like that? The Nintendo Classic NES came out about maybe three years ago, correct? That didn't do so good. You know, it was HDMI plugin. It had 30 built-in games, I do believe. No, it had 60 built-in games. All right? Then you t it didn't do so good. It, it got games on there no one gave a shit about. It got bad reviews. That's why you see a lot of them still you know, being sold for so cheap because no one cares, cares about it. It's not what they want. You take a look back several years ago, what came out along with that, which was the Sega NES Classic. It had 30 built-in games. Still, no one cared about it. it. It was a fail. That's why you see the Sega with the 30 built-in games in places like Walgreens a lot. For like 40 bucks, right? So, not only do you see that, but the end of last year into this year, we got the PS1 Classic with 20 built-in games it failed it, it didn't do good but not only do you take a look at what I just showed you but take a look at at the Nintendo NES classic that got released several years ago the same exact pattern design as what Soldier Boy did now this came out before Soldier Boys Soldier Boy got it from them right license and that literally, and what I'm talking about came from Nintendo. It came from Nintendo. Okay? Now, he didn't go straight for or with Nintendo when it came time for the paperwork. Right? At all. None. No, he reached out to people who do in the knockoff brands. And why a good majority of these people just don't exist. Why you don't see a lot of these consoles around anymore. And it's just not these consoles that I showed you guys. But they have older ones as well. With some of the older systems. He put licensed games that come from Nintendo and from Sega onto this console. Without any permission to do so whatsoever. Once he started advertising, people started buying and got bad reviews. 
Nintendo has every right to sue. You see what I'm talking about? He didn't go, he didn't try to contact them. He went around them to finesse, to try to get Nintendo money. Why do you think Nintendo now got a hold of the system? Why do you think they put a stop to it? And why do you think when you click on the link, it goes straight to the Nintendo website in order to be ordered? Because they saying, look, nigga, you take it from us, you didn't go straight toward for us. So it's either you you see that you give up all rights to this. We take the money. You're going to be owing us a good percentage. Or we're going to take you to court and file a class action lawsuit. And get as much from you as you can. Because you didn't do the procedures necessary in order for this to happen. You stole games from us. And you put everything on a down drive system. If you guys get the soldier console, and I've seen a lot of people take this apart, imagine a hollow box. You have at least three to two wires and no more than a small, small ass hard drive about the size of a floppy disk. That's what's in there. That's considered a ripoff on its own. And why it sold for so cheap. He finessed. He scammed a lot of people and a lot of people who saying, I ain't got my order, I ain't got my order. And it's because there was only so little of them made and the order just to gain attention to really not just take money from the people, but s steal money from the company as well. And he's getting in trouble for that. You think Sony's going to let that happen to the, P to the PlayStation brand? You think Sony's going to let a lot of these companies who've been making games not just for the PS1 over the years, not just for the PS2, not just for the PS3 or the PS4, let alone, you know, Xbox or the Xbox 360 or the Xbox One. No, they're not going to let that happen. They are going to protect their brands. They're going to protect the companies that they have partners with for those games to be released on those systems throughout the years, including now. They're not going to let Soldier Boy do that. We just heard a report and for um the people that make Fortnite, they said, no, nigga, you ain't finna take from us like you did Nintendo. That's why Nintendo now is on your ass and owns this. You ain't finna fuck us over. They ain't gonna have allow that to happen. The same thing with you see with the earbuds, right? Those wireless earbuds, them earbuds are shit because the people that bought them, even though they're Wi-Fi connected to your phone, they went out constantly. They died out quick. There, you look up the reviews because the charts for the for the money that went into that. Not only did they lose tons of tons of money, but the sales for those went straight down. My partner bought some of those a couple months ago. He returned them. That's how horrible they were. Now let's go on with the Soldier Boy watch. You had that smart watch, right? A non name brand watch. That same watch, that same non-brand watch, they have for sale over at a grocery store called Aldi's. I don't know how many guys may have heard of it, but they started selling those for like, I think 35 plus tax would have been around $40. So those that didn't sell like that to get shipped to, you know, not just grocery stores like that, but also places like Walgreens or CVS. That, that, that are that cheap, that don't last long. Yeah, that's where he's got, got them probably from, which it wouldn't surprise me, reached out, had either one of his partners buy them for him or order them for those to get shipped, or maybe not even shipped, reached out to him, to the uh, cheaper versions, to the people and said, hey, I want to market, just put, put just again, put my name on it. So when they sell, not only will you make money, but I'll make money as well. So bad reviews got on that. You know, again, that watch that I just said comes from, you know, places like CVS, Walgreens, and Aldi's for like 40 bucks from a lot of the off-brand companies. You know, and there are licensed off-brand companies, believe it or not, that do have a partnership deal with the actual brand companies. So when the off brands that are a bit cheaper sell, they have to split that money with the people that they're signed under two, who are the on-brand companies. So no one gets troubled or be sued. You see what I'm saying? 
But Soulja Boy went straight to those companies that are the off brand, called them, and again saying, hey, let me just put my name. Not only will you make money, but I'll make money. But a lot of people got theirs and it went to shit. The same thing as I explained before about the handheld. You know, something like that came out 90s and plus the 2000s. And then you had the Nintendo handheld as well. Where do you think he got that from? He got it from them. A lot of it was probably stuff that was on retail shelves or returnables, right? That do get resold, believe it or not. They don't go into the dump on the time. And because a good majority of them are used, they're going to have problems. So they're going to be sold for, for less. And then he got a hold of them and sold them even more for less. Again, a lot of bad reviews on that and how easily these things broke, how cheap the feel was, how bad the quality of these items were by every sense of that meaning necessary. Every sense of the meaning of that word, quality, the how it felt with the texture. It was just badly made. It was cheap and he finessed, he scammed, he got away with a lot of money. Don't be surprised when this shit literally comes to the light. And when his antics start coming up, you're going to see because he knew he fucked up. He messed up. Don't be surprised when you're going to see not just class action lawsuits, but a lot of money on his end being paid out. But also may have to do time. You can do time for scamming and messing up things like this. That's also going to give a bad look to some of the brand companies that now are going to have to fix all of this. Again, why do you think Nintendo got a hold of it? They weren't going to allow that to happen. Because he finessed him. He's like, no, you're doing too much. Now we got to claim this. So either you pay up and let us claim this or we take you to court, man. It's your choice. So you see, he had to give that up. Because the honest truth is, he may have some money, but he ain't got money. And I guarantee you, he ain't, he ain't got court money for a class action lawsuit for his end. No. You take a look at the phones. Now, those phones cannot be activated here in the U.S. They're actually from across the brand phone companies that we don't have here. The same thing how the plugins are. They have foreign plugins. We ain't got foreign plugins down here in the U.S., man. Now, the foreign phones, don't get me wrong, are built a bit better, if not better quality than what we get here in the U.S. from, from the reviews I have seen. It's just that we can't get them activated, even though it, even though it is part of like the Galaxy or iPhone brand in a way. But it cannot be activated. So, what is the use of getting it? And it comes with a different charger and the plug-in part of the phone that, again, you know, we don't have here in the U.S. So, you gave a good quality phone that's foreign to sell to people in the US that cannot use it. And you just got away with the tons and tons of money. And I, again, you know, reviews on that phone that I'm talking about are, are here on the net. It, it, you, you have to watch it. And these are coming from the people that love gaming, that love tech, who, who do the research, who know. And there's been tons of videos of them taking apart or breaking open, again, the soldier console and looking inside it's a hollow box. You get a little ROM system, no more size of a floppy disk, and several, like three wires at the most, just to power the damn thing. That's all you get in a very cheap controller that you can pretty much get anywhere. There used to be a time where you can buy wireless controllers that were cheap. You know, they didn't last long worth the shit. But that's where he kind of got the controller from, or really did get the controller from as well. So Soldier Boy scammed the shit out of a lot of people. And because people called him out on his shit for that, he wanted, he got mad. He got caught. He's mad that Nintendo got onto his ass and that he had to give up the console, the name, and let them own it so they can sell it, right? Because he pretty much stole the Nintendo NES, stole the games, and also from Sega as well. It was either that or we take you to court. 
And again, he doesn't have court money like that for a class action lawsuit, man. So you see why Soldier Boy's up in his antic. He got caught pretty much screwing over a bag on not just companies, but also ripping off people. Why do you think a lot of people are up in arms about we didn't get our orders? Hell, academics tried to order one and there wasn't nothing left in stock when he was getting all these excuses on the other hand. He was, and they were going to charge him 150 So they were going to fuck him over $150 for a piece of plastic that's hollow. That ain't going to work worth shit. It ain't going to work worth shit. Just like when Soulja were talking about the ringtones. You didn't create and come out with the ringtones for whatever song came out at the time. The person that actually helped originate the ringtones for hip-hop music... That first sold, that first sold tons of fucking money for cheap and made a lot of money back from that end, but who done it right with the proper licenses and partnership deals was Chameleon Air. So you claiming something that Chameleon Air did. The only thing, Soldier Boy, that you created, and here's the thing, there's no such thing as getting credit for nothing because whatever you did came from somebody else and then they came from somebody else who made it. You can't market a dance move, bro. A dance move is not a licensed marketing thing. And that's something that a lot of these entertainers have to understand. You pissed off at Fortnite because they got your dance in the game? Don't you know other people's dances been in games before Fortnite that you may have played? Especially during the PS2 years? You can't license a market of the dance, my brother. You ain't no money from that. If that was the case, then people would have been getting paid a long time ago like that. You don't see, you, you didn't hear about Michael Jackson, right, complaining that if you guys are going to use my moonwalk dance, I'm going to need some money. I'm going to market. No, you can't market that because it's not marketable, man. It's not a thing to be marketed. It's not a physical thing. In order for that to be a thing, you would have to market and sell yourself. You see what I'm saying? But you can't do that because it's not realistic. It's not something that you can get paid from or be marketed. It, it's, 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 it's not, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Michael Jackson didn't create the moonwalk. The moonwalk's been around before the dude was even famous, before the Jackson 5. You see what I'm saying? Look it up. From there, people in the hip-hop community brought that into breakdancing. And then Michael got that from two different angles, not from just the streets, but also from TV. And he took it to another level. But that didn't come from him. The shuffle that he does from his feet, that came from James Brown. But James Brown got that from someone else. So you can't market a dance. So when Soulja Boy said, oh, I got my dance marketed, you can't market that, you full of shit. Your dance been on there. But here's the thing. You took that dance from a dance group down in Atlanta before you were even famous. So you can't name brand and market a dance. It is, it's, you, it's, not, it's, not, it's not possible, man. There's no money to be made off of dance. You see what I'm saying? If that was the case, then... Wouldn't twerking and stripping be really marketing? I mean, I know a lot of them strippers get, get a lot of money doing that, but that, that's a strip club. So, you can't market a dance, man. There's been other mobile games before you again were famous, before the smartphones came around. No one really gave a shit if you came out with a game before because no one talked about it. No one heard of it. Sorry, man, but you full of shit. Even though, again, I would like to see Soldier come back, but thing is, man, what I spoke about in a video that you guys may have seen about Soldier Boy, and there's too many yes men and drugs around. It's just how it goes. And you're in a dark place and you're hurting somehow. I understand you want to come back, but 
you can't take credit for shit that you didn't do that you got from someone else. It's not it's not possible. You didn't create YouTube. YouTube's been around. You didn't show people how to make videos. People been making videos before you were around. People been uploading through the middleman and then through the network itself before you was around. Editing software at the time wasn't the best, but people were using how to use it, learn it and use it before you were around. You weren't the first rapper on the internet, brother. There's been other artists before you. Before you were around. So saying that people owe you, they don't owe you shit. Anything you owe them. And that right there in this video that you guys seen is the Soldier Boy scam. Not much else to it. I'm out.